I ain't even talked to him and I'm already on his mower. Oh. I've already made myself at home on your mower. Sorry. Alex. Jared. Nice to meet Good you. Good to meet you, buddy. What's your name, partner? Uh, Roy. I'm Alex. already recording your mower. Oh, okay. Nice. I have an extra uh, trigger assembly, but it's still like a 129. I, I don't know if you have to love there. I still want some pictures. <laughs> I like this trailer, y'all. All aluminum, ain't it? Oh, this that weighs stuff? nothing. Yeah, Triton, they hooked us up. We buy it direct from them, and tell you what, for it, the size it is and the weight, you don't feel it pulling at all whenever you're driving it empty. That gate's a bifold gate. Yeah, so I seen that first thing. That's super easy <laughs> and nice. I love trailers. Well, that's why I got so many of them. Yeah. I don't have no aluminum ones, though. The one thing I just want to get that I don't have is we got these tie down hooks. And I want the uh, like D, D loop ones so I can run my strap through it without tearing it up. I like them snap the straps, locks. I don't have uh, short straps. Every strap I get is bad. Yeah, I'll hurry up. You're going to let me play with it, Wolf. So I'll tell you real you quick, got me the, outside difference, the different, main different thing about So what's that? This is where you actually add fluid to the pumps. It's not where you have the easy release of the top cover. The top cover, so if the, you have the deck drop down, you got a bolt on this side and a bolt on that side, and this whole top cover just rotates off. It's just held in by two bolts on either side. Oh, that's cool in my book. Like when I was fussing about who's it the other day, I really did go to, well, you know the dealer. We just talking about her. Yeah. That's the one I was, this is the machine I was looking at. This or the Skag. I don't know. I they're like the, very nice this machines, thing reminds me of my favorite purchase. show, Star Trek. It's got a, <laughs> it's got a funky vibe on it. I like it though. A couple people have taken some funky vibes. If you look at the, like engine cover on the right stander the grill that thing's kind of like reminds me of that that freightliner grill yeah it does don't it they all got they need to have their own unique look or you're buying the same yeah you don't see ford and dodge making the exact same truck do you nope i like i like the offset i like all the weight on the tires especially here in the mountains and you need traction now i like where the pumps was that's what i told that guy on lawn pros is a one of y'all's, I don't know what he was, we was talking and I said, I like that up there. Well, this thing was well over five years in R&D and we put it through the gauntlet along with other people's and, you know, we do stress tests to find out uh, how many hundreds or thousands of hours frames break and other components and we built this thing to be really uh, durable now. I don't know if be, you're going to break be, that frame. Well, no. Good <laughs> God. I mean, our new Z500... If, if you look at that, the right on I dropped off yesterday, we went back because we had a few breaks. I mean, out of thousands of mowers, we had a few breaks, so we brought it over here. So instead of it butting up and being like welded with just like a butt weld, we opened it up, overlapped it, and then welded it in. We did that on the uh, ride on Z's and on the ride on Z's on the bigger units, there's also another additional plate of steel that runs the bottom side of the frame. So anywhere that we can beef up these components, I mean, there's very few people that build with the strength that we do, but there are other people that do do it well as us or better in some cases in different areas. People always find new ways to beef up their frames. Well, there is no as such thing as, as perfection. No. <laughs> as far as the front forks and the casters and spindles and just a lot of people go to like 10 gauge steel or less on stuff i don't like how not to be mean wow they have bolted on front ends i don't get that because if you bend it you can change it out real quick or just build it not to bend i don't i just don't and anybody that's been in the automotive world knows that you can straighten a frame and if yeah. you need to you can buy the 
front end. To, if you've been in a frame that bad, you probably don't need to be mowing. No, we I always say the stuff. Stress <laughs> that we, the stress test that we put these things through is we expect people that don't own the machines that work for people to abuse the hell out of them, and we expect them to just drive full speed, 10 miles an hour straight over the curb and curb hop them. Yeah. So that's what we built to withstand. That's what people do, though. They don't take care of your equipment. Uh, we set up to where the worst imaginable thing that we can think of is how we build it to. So. Well, nobody can deny the build of this thing. It's the first one I've seen with my own eyes. It, it's that's tough. Awesome. It's tough well, if looking. If I don't know any demo on it, I would have shined her up, but I just got her back. I'd like to just keep it forever. They were to hook a brother up. I'm joking. <laughs> hey, there's always a deal you can cut. Yeah, cut me a deal then. What'd you say? You stand on that lean against that Yeah, it's a stander, they call it. Yeah. He's only used to zero turns and walk behinds. Yeah, that way when you get to a steep hill or something, you just fold that thing up and walk behind it. Or you got a really low tree or something. Well, a lot of applications. <laughs> you got your truck on a hill and trailers at a steep angle. And you well, you know where I live. Just hop it up. They ain't a freaking not. There's not a lawn here that ain't got a friggin' hill. That's all we do is hills. It's, I, I wish I had two because they nest up. We built them to where they nest up closer than anybody else's, and so it takes up the least amount of space. On well, the it's road. shorter than my skag. It looks like walk behind. It looks like it's narrow. I like that. Real common. I think that's why a lot of people's going to standers now. You oh, can yeah. put like five or six of these on a trailer compared to like I got them spaced out now just because I want to. Because you know I left my big Toros and stuff at the house. Because all the hills, I just said, I'll just carry these, and then in my next... Well, you'll know what properties you're going to have if you want to have it. Yeah. I just, it stays at the house, that's all. I need to, I you mow my yard with it at least. It's still getting used. <laughs> but yeah, they updated those handles on the LS and LSTs. Yeah, I'm excited. Now you won't hear me whining no more. Cussing. Well, if I cussed, I would have cussed out who's Warna, but now you got me all happy. Did you call a dealer? No, you I just, just wanted to talk. Service? I talked to all kinds of people, and every one of them told me, no, you can't talk. We don't give out emails. I wanted to talk to an actual human being all and right. just have a little discussion. That's all I wanted. I didn't want no free. I didn't want nothing. I just... I mean, I don't know. I can't speak for the company, but I know all my dealers. We run a lot of stuff through dealers, and if there's an issue that a dealer can't handle, they'll give me a call. Well, they couldn't have handled this because it, they would... Well, you said these are new and updated. That would, probably fixes the problem. Because that one, the spring broke, and that's why I've kind of hated that thing since I bought it. But they would have they exchanged you out under warranty. But they would have done it again. I didn't know y'all had it updated. You see what I'm saying? But you, if you contacted a dealer, they could tell yeah, you Yeah, but I wanted to talk to a real human at Husqvarna. My dealer don't do in service what do you call it they're not an in-house mechanic yeah so that's why i didn't go to her i you know i like them people they're really nice to me well, we prefer all of our dealers to be servicing dealers and any dealer that we sign up moving forward has to be a servicing dealer it's just y'all need to talk to liberty i've got a sheet of people <laughs> hmm. i'm just gonna give you an update it's like seven something in the morning, I think, or eight, eight something. And you couldn't really see that in the sun. So I decided to show it to you. And it's so humid, man. <laughs> show it to you where you could actually see some stuff. And I'm on my GoPro instead of my, I was using a, what do you call it? Samsung S9 Plus. It's a very good camera, but I carry this GoPro in a field and I was gonna show it to you this thing it rode perfect I put a little bungee cord to hold the pipes down the pipe on the echo is very secure this one where it was smaller not as much so I think it needs if you're using a small tubed blower I'm sure you can bend this metal in and make it hold it, but I don't want to. 
it holds the echo perfect but I put the bungee on there and I use a paint pen on my oil filters and there's my Husqvarna hedge trimmer and the jungle sheath like I said I didn't get to the sun was in the I know but I still uploaded the video you know anybody that does this for money in real life anything we can find that helps us it makes it easier to save us space because I am gonna I think I'm gonna put my Toro on here today but when we get home at six or six whenever we get home all I gotta do is turn that one sideways I have tons of room remember the zero turn it even turns sideways and he's using the Husqvarna over there handheld it's a good blower so I was just going to show y'all that and I'll show y'all some more clips throughout the day. I don't know of what. I mean, I don't like making mowing videos because when you mow, you ain't got time to make them. I don't have a cameraman. But yeah, he likes these too. I think you're supposed to put these things where the... Huh? Holding back. Did you cut the choke all the way off? No. It's on. Huh? The choke's on. <laughs> you had it choked. That's why it's holding back. Uh-huh. Yeah. I, I caught that on video. <laughs> Well, you usually use that little steel, so you got to learn the who's for them more, I guess. Yeah, yeah, that's one usually. I grab. I thought I was grabbing one right here. <laughs> yeah, there's a big difference in color there between who's for and steel. I know you don't pay I think attention. It was just to the, left side. the tube is shorter on that steel, and I didn't want to make new holes. So, the Husqvarna is longer and it don't fit in there as good. That's why I moved it. Because the steel is literally touching. I didn't want to move them. I ain't making no more holes in my trailer than I have to. So, that's why they're mounted exactly like that. I actually had to drill another hole in that one because the other ones are wider. I drilled holes in the mountain, not the trailer. Oh, it's starting to sprinkle. That's all right. We're going to beat the... Don't forget your gloves. Hey, that was just a sweat off my forehead. That's all that was. <laughs> I got a lot of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bad as it was the other day, 